Hello everyone, welcome to Logical Solutions Online Tutorials. In this tutorial, we will see few SOLIDWORKS shortcuts and ignorant commands. Many great people over the years have said and proved that there is no shortcut for success. But I would like to say that if you find the right path, then follow the shortcut. Why SOLIDWORKS shortcuts? These days, journey of any product from idea to market is very short, though it involves many stages. Designing is one of the critical and very important during these stages. SOLIDWORKS provides many powerful capabilities for creating better design products quickly and efficiently. Designing in SOLIDWORKS will be even quicker if we use the shortcuts available to us. We all know that we can create or customize the keyboard shortcuts in SOLIDWORKS. Let us take a look at this. Opening a document in SOLIDWORKS and then go to Tools, Select Customize. A new window appears. This window can also be opened by right clicking on the command manager and selecting customize option from the selections. Now select keyboard from the available tabs. We can customize the shortcut keys from here. We can add a new shortcut or remove an existing shortcut to SOLIDWORKS commands. We can see all the shortcuts which have been assigned to the commands in SOLIDWORKS. Now we will see certain shortcuts which haven't been mentioned in SOLIDWORKS. These are also some hidden options in SOLIDWORKS. Firstly, a shortcut for auto transition between line and arc. The shortcut is A. Select a plane for sketching. Select line entity to sketch and start sketching. When sketching with line entity in SOLIDWORKS, we can simply click A on our keyboard which is switches entries from line to arc. Again clicking back A will switch back to the line entity. This is how we draw. Also to switch entities, instead of using keyboard, just bring back the cursor to the line endpoint which it turns into arc. If you don't require this arc, click back onto the endpoint which switches back to line. This is a very good shortcut to use. We will see another shortcut to create virtual shop. Select entities using control and click point. The resulting point of intersection symbol can also be customized. Selecting a sketch plane and creating a sketch with two lines. Then adding a fillet to these two lines. We need to find the intersection point of these two lines which we have drawn after adding the fillet. Hold down control and select the two lines. Click on the point entity in the sketch command manager which creates a sketch point where these two lines meet. Also for non-parallel lines, select the lines using control and click point where which it creates an intersection point for these two selected lines. We can choose the symbol for this intersection point from options Document Properties, Virtual Shops. Select the point of intersection which you require. Next shortcut, we will see for dimensions. For dimensions, we can vary the values either by into 10 or 0.1 times using the keyboard shortcuts Ctrl and Alt. After double clicking any dimension to modify, we can hold the control key and rotate mouse wheel to adjust the defined value in into 10 increments. Also again while editing the dimensions, holding down the R key and rotating the mouse wheel to adjust the defined value in value of 0.1 increments. Now another shortcut we will look at is copy move a series of entities from one location to another using control and shift keys from keyboard. Select multiple entities to copy in a sketch and hold down control key and drag to another location to create a copy of selected entities. Similarly, after selecting the multiple required entities, hold down the shift key and drag it to another location which moves the selected entities. To copy or move features, we can use control and shift keys as in like sketch. When features are underdefined in a part, Select multiple features or a single feature and hold down control key and drag to another location to create a copy of selected features. Similarly, to move certain features from one position to another, select the features, hold down the shift key and drag to the desired location. We can define these features later as required in the sketch. We know the shortcut G to activate magnifying glass in SOLIDWORKS. All zooming will give the section in magnifying glass. We can zoom in or zoom out in the area of the magnifying glass using shortcut G. We can also zoom in and zoom out of the section view of this component in the magnifying glass. While zooming, using the magnifying glass, hold down Alt key to section the component for this magnifying glass shortcut. A shortcut for design tree to expand and collapse is Ctrl T. 
Generally, in SOLIDWORKS, after creating a sketch and adding a feature with that sketch, the sketch gets absorbed into the feature. We can use shortcut Ctrl T to toggle between expanded tree view and also a collapsed view. Another shortcut for design tree to expand and collapse is C when a property manager is active. When a property manager for a feature is active, to expand and collapse the design tree in the user interface, click the shortcut C on the keyboard. It reduces the effort of moving our pointer to the tree and expanding and collapsing. A shortcut to create a reference plane is Ctrl drag an existing plane. Instead of using reference geometry to create a plane at an offset distance to create an existing plane, select an existing plane with the left mouse button and holding down Ctrl key, drag the plane in the direction required and release the key and mouse button. Now entering the offset value and clicking OK creates an offset plane. This can be done to as many planes required. We now select other hides a face selected. To hide other faces when selector is active, right mouse button on the required faces to hide. For any solid body, to see or to select the internal faces, we use selector option in SOLIDWORKS. This option hides the selected face and shows all faces right behind the selected face. But if you want to hide more faces during the selection, just the select required faces to be hidden using right mouse button. Select transparent faces of a component using shift on the keyboard. In SOLIDWORKS, we can select certain faces and make them transparent. If the option under Tools, Options, System Options, Selection, Enable Selection to Transparency is checked, we can select through the internal faces of the component. In this case, if we cannot select the transparent faces directly, holding down the Shift key and selecting the area of the face which is made transparent, we can select the required transparent face back to the normal face. Shortcut for normal view in SOLIDWORKS is Ctrl 8 or selecting normal view option. Select two faces and click Ctrl which will face one face normal and other face up. Selecting a face of a component and clicking normal to will align the component of the face normal to up view. In this case, if we require another face of the component to be facing up, we cannot do directly. So to get this view as required, select the face we require to be normal and using Ctrl select the other face which should face up. Then click normal to which orients the view, the face normal and another face upside. Add smart mates, smart mates using alt. We all know adding mates to components using mates options or using multiple selections of the faces for adding mates. We have this flexibility of adding smart mates with a shortcut key. Just hold Alt key and drag an edge or a face of one component onto another component to add a mate for these existing components. Add multiple components using Ctrl drag. For adding a component into an assembly, we need to select Insert Components option and browse for the file required to add that component into our assembly. But to add a component which is already used in the assembly again, we need not to use insert components. Just select the component from the assembly, hold Ctrl key and drag into the assembly. Select transparent components in assembly using shift. As said earlier, if the options are the tools, options, system options, selection, enable selection to transparency is checked. We can select through the internal faces of these transparent parts. Similar to the selection of transparent faces in the part using shift key, in assemblies also, we can use the same shift key shortcut to select the transparent components. Add component with smart mate using Ctrl and Alt at a time. To copy a component and add smart mate simultaneously, click Ctrl and Alt at a time and select the face of one component or an edge of a component, drag and drop onto the other component to add a smart mate simultaneously. We can access a shortcut bar using S in Sketch, Part, Assembly and Drawing Environments in SOLIDWORKS. When we are sketching to create a model, clicking S will highlight the shortcut bar with the sketch entities and commands. Similarly, when creating a part, clicking S will bring a shortcut bar with the features required. We can directly select the feature at our cursor and point instead of selecting them from the command manager which saves a lot of time. This is also the same for assembly and even in drawing. In each environment, the shortcut bar has its own features related for modeling. We can customize the shortcut bar. Just right click on the shortcut bar and adding or removing the two options to be available in the shortcut bar just according to the environment we work with. Drag and drop the required features or 
add for adding and removing. Bring confirmation corner and welcomes to cursor endpoint using B on the keyboard. We will have a confirmation corner in sketch and when a property manager is activated. Also, when we make a selection in part or assembly, backgrounds appears at the top interface. Clicking D on the keyboard will bring the confirmation corner and breadcrumbs to our mouse cursor end in either sketches or in features or in assemblies. Just click the D shortcut. Repeat. Repeat a command or a feature by just clicking enter on the keyboard. When we access a feature to add a part and if you want to get the same feature again, click enter which will notify the same feature which we have just accessed. This is same even in sketch or assembly or in drawing. Hope you have enjoyed this session of SOLIDWORKS tutorials. For any queries, please post your questions in the comments. Thank you for watching this tutorial. For more SOLIDWORKS tutorials, subscribe to our YouTube channel Logical Solutions. Thank you.